how to onboard clients, how to set everything up for when you're starting to run ads for a new client. So there are a few different options here. I'm gonna lay them out. I'm gonna give you my take on what I think are the best ones and why and kind of give you my advice and strategy for the best way to onboard clients for running Facebook ads for clients. Now that I think about it, I really only recommend one out of these three. Uh, but the first one is if the client already has a Facebook ad account set up, then they can literally just give you their login info, the email address and password, and you can just log in to their stuff and just run it from inside of there. And all their payment info and stuff would already be linked in there, or you know you can have them link it in there. But you'd literally just be jumping into theirs and running it for them from inside of their very own. The second way would be to you have your own ad account set up um, and or business manager set up with multiple ad accounts in it, however you're set up. This could work either way in this scenario. Um, but you just have, but you don't, that you don't sync anything up with the client inside of your own ad account you would have all of your own billing payment information linked up to it and your client wouldn't have like any login info or anything like that. Um, and there are a lot of agencies that definitely do operate this way. Um, and I'm not saying that it's all bad, but I just wanted to share a couple reasons for why I personally prefer and don't really like to see and care to warn people um, when I do see agencies operating this way and the reason for that is just and the reason for this is just because if I take on a client and I just say yeah cool I'll run ads for you um, I'm just gonna do it uh, you know send me five grand and that's the five grand that I'm gonna use to start to run ads for you and I'm just gonna run it all inside of my own ad account my own business manager okay what happens is there's two big problems here so number one the client doesn't get to see any of the data meaning the clients not seeing if the money is actually getting spent how it's getting spent doesn't see any of the um, ads that are being run any of the impressions any of the clicks any of any of the results any of the purchase like whatever is trying to be accomplished the client just doesn't see any of the data because the agency it's all inside of the agency's everything so what you know in the scenario where the client <clears throat> in the scenario where the agency operates this way and the client is like hey i need like something well then the agency will typically send a report to the client but again that's just a report that's not actually like the client being able to see the real numbers and the real data inside of Facebook. I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying all agencies are bad or this is all bad, but that just is an opportunity for an agency to fudge some numbers and just is a gap for the client as far as seeing the actual real numbers and the actual real ad spend and results and everything like that. Um, the second problem with it, and this is not to say that this is like um, an inferior problem to the first one. This is just as major of a problem, in my opinion, is that um, in the event where the client and the agency part ways and no longer work together, the client has no data. So any of the audiences that were built, any of the targeting, um, all of the pixel data, uh, all of the learning phases, like all of the just important things that happen when you're optimizing and scaling and, and getting ads to, to and targeting and getting ads to actually work for you um, if that's all happening just inside the agency's Facebook then <clears throat> when they part ways the client doesn't have any of that and if the clients still continuing to run that business well that having <laughs> being able to have that information as far as targeting and email list and look-alike audiences and pixel data like all of that would be I mean businesses are literally built on that information so um, and and having that so like that's that's just crazy to me that's like what just what a terrible situation to 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 be in um, and then there's and then even it could get really nasty where you know maybe even at that point the agency's trying to even get the client to pay more money if they want to buy data from the agency now when that data is actually the client's like that company's data but technically under this agency's 
services and contracts, whatever, it's not. So anyways, I just, those are my reasons for why I don't like clients letting agencies take all the data and all of, and not, and like the agency not have, and the client not having any access to any of the actual what's happening inside of Facebook. So that's why I prefer this third option. And this is what I do. I set up, I have my own Facebook business manager. And then if I, and then if a client already has their Facebook ad account and all that stuff set up, perfect. All I do is just request access to it, which is very simple to do. If they don't have one set up, then what I do, it takes more time and it's a bit annoying and it's, you gotta do some back and forth, but I help them get set up with a Facebook account. Uh, and maybe even a Facebook business manager account, but I make sure they have their own Facebook ad account for their business, and then I, again, just request access to it. And then what Facebook, it's really cool what Facebook lets me do, so say I have, uh, and this, uh, uh, not say I have, let's just give a real example here. So when I take on clients um, for Kickstarter campaigns, I have audiences already built up, good lookalike audiences inside of my own business manager. So what I do once I have the client set up and I request access to their account, so I am then running everything from inside of their account and they can see it all happening, like all the exact data. I can then also just share my audiences to their account. They get to see everything, their payment info's in there. They're, we don't have to deal with sending money back and forth to each other at least not for um, ad spend purposes. And then most importantly, what I believe most importantly, just like as a, I don't know, it just seems like the right thing to do, I guess you could say is they, they just, it's their data. They get to, it's theirs, they own it, they keep it, they move forward with it um, and they get to see it. And there's, there's just no room really for any funny business. There's just not room. Like, I love that. Like. Any, any, if if ever there's any issue that comes up, it's just like, oh, well, it's sitting, that, that it's your account, it's your data, it's your card plugged in there, like, none of that's ever been mine or will be, so that's all yours, you guys own it, you're welcome to look, double check anything you want, and then what also they can do, like the client is able to do is um, take it, take all that, you know, so, 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 so <laughs> that was a lot of stuttering, so say I take on a client, um, and I do some work for them and when and we part ways what they can do then is now they can take that work and even have a different agency double check it um, I'm not saying that my work necessarily needs to be double checked that's not the point I'm trying to make here it's not I'm not trying to make myself look bad the point I'm trying to make is just like they own the data it's theirs they get to keep it moving forward and forever and there's and, and if they want, they can go show it to another agency and be like, hey, what do you guys think of this? Or they can take it to another agency and the agency can build off of what's already sitting there. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. The last thing I wanna do right here is just show you from inside of Business Manager how to request and or grant access to accounts, pages, people, etc. So if you come up here just to the top to the big drop down menu and then in the right column over here click on business settings. This is where you'll be able to add, grant, and share a lot of things. So right here under users if you click on people, I've got to blur out some of this stuff here, but if you click on people um, and then if you just click on add right here all you need to do is input their email address that's connected to their Facebook account and then it'll send an invitation to them and then right here is where you assign their business roles employee access admin access you can click here for some advanced options I'm not going to read through each of those I'll leave that for you to do um, but that's how you invite people into your business manager and once a person is added you then need to assign them to whatever you want to assign them to so if you want to assign them to an ad account here's how you do that you come down here and click on ad accounts and then over here where it says people, click add people. And then if you've added that person as a user right here, you'll be able to select them as uh, the person that you're trying to add. And you'll be able to set like grant whichever permissions you want to inside of the ad account that you're adding them to. Hope that makes sense. Same thing goes for pages. So if I come up here and click on pages, and then right here in this people section, if I click on add people, I'll be able to um, assign 
a person, a user that I've already added to my business manager to this page and I can set whichever permissions I want for that person on this page. All right, and since we're right here on pages, if you come up here to this blue button and click on add, and then if you click on uh, just and read through these here, so add page, your business already owns this page or you need to own it. Um, request access to a page is when somebody else owns the page and you're not trying to take over ownership of the page, so you're just requesting access to it. That's the one you'll most likely want to use in the event um, of a client already having a page. And then create a new page, straightforward. If you need to create a new page, there's that. Add accounts, it's gonna give you pretty much the same options if you click that blue button again right there. Add an ad account, request access to an ad account. So if your um, uh, client has an ad account or if you set one up for an ad account, then you would click here and request access that way. And by the way, how you'll do that is you'll need to get their ad account ID or give them your ad account ID. And then just make sure you get it plugged in, click confirm and it'll sync right up. And then same thing for Instagram accounts. If you click on Instagram accounts right here, click on add, you can sign in right there and the Instagram account will be added to your business manager and then you'll be able to select it for when you're running ads. And then one last little tip when it comes to onboarding clients, one thing I like to do and one thing that it, it makes things a lot easier and it also just makes things feel quite a bit more professional uh, because there's so much like stuff you have to sync up you can create a video or you can create a document that creates a good e and especially if the client doesn't have anything set up and you're trying to set stuff up for them or if they're just like not super familiar with how to navigate any of the Facebook ads or Facebook business manager stuff uh, then creating a guide, whether that's a video guide or a document guide, that takes you through step by step, uh, explains you know uh, with with links in there, and then also saying like hey like please get this information, put it in an email to me, send it, and then I'll plug all that in and make sure everything's synced like just a little bit of a, a guide for your client to onboard them. Video guide I'd even recommend, but also documents can work extremely well, but a guide to help onboard them and help them through the process of getting that everything synced up helps a lot.